Good morning again, everyone. My name is Dolores Adams. I am the Director of Procurement for the Portsmouth Redevelopment and Housing Authority. This is the pre-bid meeting for IFB 2023-04 for fencing for our Hamilton Place and Seaboard Square development. The fencing will be run across the front of these developments as the um, map that was shown in the solicitation have shown. So hopefully you've had an opportunity to review the solicitation um, and we will discuss it here to, bring, to provide more clarification. And we will also give you an opportunity if you have some more questions, to send it to us in writing after this uh, meeting is over. And I want to um, also let you know after this meeting is over the maintenance, um, the staff at the Seaboard Square and Hamilton Place properties are available um, for you to come and walk that site. We ask that you check in with the rent, check in at the rental office so that they will know you're on their site. So to begin with, I always like to know who's here. So I'm going to have first PRHA staff introduce themselves. Then we will ask for um, our contractors that are present to introduce yourself and the company that you're with. So we can start with um, Mr. Bland. Good morning, Ed Bland, Portsmouth Redevelopment Housing Authority. Ms. Jenkins. Good morning, Valzinia Jenkins, Director of Asset Management. We have um, Ms. Lowe. Hi, I'm Lynette Flo. I've uh, met uh, all of you all. And um, next, we're going to introduce our Hamilton Place staff that's on the phone. Victoria Sledge Bunch, property manager for Hamilton Place in Westbury Holly Square. Jaquan Brooks, interim supervisor, Hamilton Place, Holly Square. And our Seaboard Square staff. You're muted, Irene. Irene, you're muted. Good morning, Irene Rodriguez, um, property manager for Seaboard Square in Westbury Pines. And Good morning. Anthony. Good morning, my name is Anthony Smith. I'm making for Seaboard Square and also. Thank you, Anthony and Irene. So we have introduced the PRHA staff. Now, um, Mr. Williams. Yes, Hudson Williams, Hurricane Fence. Mr. Harps. Ishmael Harps, Hercules Fence. Thank you, sir. We're really um, glad to have you all on today. The first, um, first thing that I'd like to mention is that this will be a Davis Bacon job. So, if you are a successful bidder, um, you will have to provide provide certified payroll for this position. You also make, need to make sure that the um, signs are posted and that any laborers, uh, anyone working on that this job is aware um, that it is Davis Bacon and what their position is, title is, as well as their uh, rate of pay. So we will have our staff will be doing interviews. So make sure your people are aware that HUD 11 interviews will be done. And the um, payroll, the um, Davis Bacon wage termination was included in the bid package. Are there any questions on that? No. Um, and we are a public housing authority. And so this will also be a section three um, job, meaning if you have staff that are, will be working on this job, they may meet the income requirements of Section 3 that is included in the bid, that was included in the bid package. Um, please um, provide us with information on the labor hours that they are expected to work on that job because um, HUD changed Section 3 a few years ago, and it's not necessarily about new hires. It is about labor hours of the individuals that are working on the job if they meet the um low income definition 
And the definition, um, our low income limit is pretty high now for a person of one. So please pay attention to the um, session three information that was included in the bid package. When they changed the um, session three rules, they um, made it um, the income for a person of one, not um, a family size. So please pay attention to the new session three um, information that is included in the package. Any questions on that before I continue? Mm -hmm. um, the next thing we like to do is talk about the, the project itself. And as was included in the package, we were we are going to do fencing along. Let me see if I can pull up the um, fence line drawings. I'm going to share my screen. Um, share screen. Okay, here this drawing. These drawings were included in the packages that we sent out. Um, we'll start with the Hamilton Place drawing. We're looking for a wrought iron, iron fence to run six feet tall to run across the front of both Hamilton Place and Seaboard Square. We did send, include in the package specifications sample specifications of um, the type of fencing we're looking for. We definitely will, are interested in labels. We're not saying that's what you have to use, but we're using that as an example of the specifications we're looking for in the fencing. So we will, um, if you, we do ask if you want to provide um, a different type of fencing, just make sure you um, make us aware of it and that it is equal to what we've shown in the bid package. But the fencing, there is a fence along this area and there's a fence along this side of um, Hamilton Place. And the idea is to connect a fence along the front that will enter, um, that will actually, you can connect on the side to the existing fencing. One fence we do know is in need of repair on this right hand side on Hamilton Place right off the of turnpike. But um, that's the, the idea is to um, cover the front, to keep people from coming from the street, walking through the property um, without going through the main entrance. And of course, although this line is solid, there is a main entrance and <laughs> we, will, we do want to make sure that there's a um, opening between the main entrance, around the main entrance. It did and, us. Yes, Mr. Bland. <laughs> The fence that need repair, that fence owned by the housing authority or owned by someone else? You saying we're not, we're not sure at this time who owns it. Right. The re reason why you might could go maybe uh, six feet, what I call in on both on both ends, that would take care of where that fence costs. There's a lot of struggling stuff along that it is. anyway. So if you go six feet in, um, then that would take care of what I consider damage to the fence because we can't we can't require them to repair the fence anyway. No, because we don't know who owns. So yeah, okay. So we can just just take it as far in as you can because it's it's there on this side here. There is a lot of trees and shrubbery there in this area, and there there is also a bus stop. That's why there's a little space that's um, jutted in. There's a bus stop here on this side on Hamilton Place. But when you go to the property or if you've already been to the property, then you may be familiar with what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, the second area is Seaboard Square, which is also both of these properties are right off of Turnpike Road. And um, the Seaboard Square development does not have um, any existing fencing on the side. 
uh, to connect into, but the idea is to do, like we were saying in Hamilton, just go in a little and go across the front. Um, not, of course, having openings for the driveway. There's a driveway here at Corpru. Uh, we can start here at Depot and go down to Pres and Preston, but the, uh, there is a driveway here at Corpru. Um, and then on Preston Avenue, um, there's a there's a major street, so we just want the fence to go right there along Preston. And it is pretty much the same idea to keep um, control the flow of traffic to in and out of the community to the um, major roads and walkways and streets. Hey, I have Any a question. Questions? Yes. So looking at this, um, so when we get down to Preston Corner, are we crossing Preston? That driveway is going to stay open? The Preston. driveway is open, yes. And we're stopping before that driveway? Yes. And, and doing a 90 down toward, you know, the property. So right, exactly. And Corporal Drive, that's going to be open too? Corporal is open. Okay, that's the main interest there. into right. the community. And the same mm -hmm. as Depot. Gotcha. Okay. We're stopping near Depot. All right. Are there any other questions? If I sent one of my superintendents out there to measure everything, is there a point of contact? Yes. Um, I will have them to give you their information okay. for each property. Um, so uh, for Hamilton Place, who would you like your primary point of contact to be? Jaquan. If you give them Jaquan's contact information, mm -hmm. Victoria. Phone number 757 403 2478. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Seaboard Square. Okay. Um, with Hamilton Place, is this going to, it's going to be one solid fence because we do have breezeways that face that have access from Turnpike? The breezeways will be closed off. Only the main road will be open on Hamlet for Hamilton Place. Oh, okay. All right. They will not no longer be able to walk from the front through the breezeway. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Is that the plan, much. Mr. Bland? That's that's the plan. I think as much. Yeah. It's the um idea is try to con control the flow of traffic. Now, the Quan was the Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And who's the point of contact for uh, Preston? Seaboard Square. Seaboard Square, um, yeah. Who would be your primary point of contact? You are um, muted, Irene. It should be Anthony Smith. Anthony Smith. 757 449 What's the last four digits? <clears throat> four, seven, two, eight. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep, that means they're going to take a minute. Okay. That's Thank you. Okay. Um, are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. Before we continue. Um, yeah, one other question, just clarification. So the fence, the sidewalk that runs parallel with Turnpike and on both jobs, the that sidewalk is going to be outside the fence. I'm looking on Google Earth, and there's a sidewalk that allows you to walk and, and come in the properties, you know, each property on Hamilton. So and the down on the breezeway. The breezeway. If I remember the sidewalk that goes goes along Hamilton and in front of Hamilton, and if I remember, I think that sidewalk is outside of our line. But when you go there uh, to those two locations, uh, the contact person can tell you for sure. But if I remember those sidewalks are not a PRDA sidewalk, gotcha. I think they belong to the city. Okay. So we definitely want the uh, fence to start on our property side. Right. Um, I want to, any other questions? 
Okay. Um, moving on, I just want to make sure um, when you for submit your bid that you do provide us with the um, a total bid cost and a total cost for Hamilton and Seaboard as well. Okay. So please um, make sure you do that. Um, do you have, were there any questions on the bid um, requirements itself? It was pretty straightforward. And I do want to say that we did have some measurements in there um, for Hamilton Place and approximately 860 linear feet and seaboard, approximately 1,086 linear feet. We do encourage you to take your own measurements. Would you say so, um, would you say press what did you say seaboard was that you took you estimated then you put one thousand eighty six. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Okay. So Jackson would like you please take your own measurements. And if you and, and if you have anything if there's something that needs to be corrected, please let me know and we will send out we'll make one necessary and and send out um, an addendum as necessary. And I want to stress that the bids are due Thursday, August the 31st at 3 o'clock p.m. They have to be submitted into EVA. Mm -hmm. If you are not currently registered with EVA, if you have not submitted a bid to EVA before, please make sure you get registered or you uh, speak with the um, customer service agents at EVA, they're very nice people from what I understand, and they will walk you through the process because She froze. Yeah. Let me go down there and tell her. Okay, everyone. I'm sorry, my computer froze. So I just wanted to. Okay, I just wanted to continue to see if there are any other questions um, about this bid and the process, or um, what you need to do as far as contacting staff to actually walk through. Uh, I'm fine. I can sense I'm fine. I'm gonna get with. I'm gonna go by both sites today, so I'll call the staff when I'm on the way. And we'll likely be there tomorrow or the following day. Um, <laughs> I'm moving to a new location, so we're moving a whole office. So we're a little bit busy right now, but we'll be there sometime this week. Okay. Well, thank you. PRHA staff, do you have any questions? Oh, you'd like to add anything? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, please, I cannot stress enough. Bids are due August the 31st by 3 o'clock p.m. in EVA. Uh, and what EVA does is if you try to submit afterwards, they will, uh, they won't even accept the bid. So just make sure you get um, registered, that you're registered and that you're familiar with um, uploading so that it won't stop you from um, being able to bid on these projects. And if you have any questions, uh, particularly after you go to the site, make sure you send them to me via email. 
my email addresses throughout the bid package, and then we will respond in the form of an addendum. So we'll put that out. And, um, and any other questions? All right. Okay. If everyone's okay. Thank you. Thank you all. Sorry for the technical difficulties, but um, we made through. Yes, we did. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you.